Hello, everyone. Today, we will, we will be working with mill part three. You guys should be familiar with this from the fall semester. I already have the geometry created, but we're going to be working on a contour tool pass for milling. So here is the geometry uh, that I made for our mill part three. Uh, I'll let you guys go through and make this on your own. There's a few different ways you can go about doing it. Uh, you can use levels if you want to. It's not 100% necessary, but I did. And as you can see, uh, right now I'm clicked on the eighth feature levels. I can turn this on and off and um, I can hide things. If, oh, so once parts get more complex, uh, levels really come in handy for hiding features and working around them. All right, so once our tool geometry is set up, uh, we have done our stock setup. We can choose contour tool path up here in the, T in the 2D section. Here it's just gonna ask us to chain our wireframe. So select contour chain, select an, an entity to start a new chain. So this is gonna be our, our cutting path for our tool. I'm gonna select down here in the bottom left and green check. All right, so after that, I'm going to select tool and I already have my tool selected, but uh, if you guys don't remember how to do this, it's select tool library. Uh, this is what you would see uh, once you go into the tool library, all your tools, you would hit filter. You would select uh, the cutting tool you want. In this case, it's this uh, end mill, the flat end mill. I did equal the 0.375, green check, and then I selected the tool. So I'm gonna get out of this. And down here is our feed rates and our spindle speed, uh, chip or tooth, surface feet per minute, plunge rate and retract rate. You guys can change this all accordingly, what you seem fit for the program. The master cam default settings are, are, are pretty light. So you, you can definitely get more aggressive with this. Now I'm gonna jump over to cutting parameters. I'm gonna change the compensation type to where. Compensation direction will be left. And stock to leave on the walls, say 10 thou. Now for depth of cut. Uh, depth of cut, I'm gonna do 0.1. And finish, number of cuts, I'm gonna say one at 10 thou. Lead in and lead out. That's 100% of our 0.375 tool diameter. I'm gonna leave everything here the same. And multi-passes. I'm gonna turn multi-passes on. I'm gonna do a uh, rough number of three, because I wanna be able to clean up all those pockets, make sure I don't leave any edges. And then number of finish passes, we'll say one at 10 thou. Now uh, I'm gonna jump down to linking parameters and I'm going to turn on the clearance plane, make that absolute, two inches sounds good. Retract, I'm gonna make that absolute. Uh, quarter inch, that's also good for me. Feed plane, I'll change that to 0.1 on absolutes. Top of stock is zero at absolute. And our depth will be negative 0.2 at absolutes. So once all that's done, I will green check. And here is our tool path. So you can see our cutter is over here. It's going to be taking uh, three passes in at 100,000 steps, leaving 10,000 on the walls and uh, 10,000 on the floors. If I want to see what this looks like, uh, I will go up here to verify selected options. I'm going to do an isometric view and I'll hit play. There it is, I'm roughing out at 100 thou. Now it's doing the walls. It's going back and it's going to finish up that 200 thou for the depth. And here you can see it doing the 10 thou on the floors. Over here on the right hand side, you can see the toolpath info. It says uh, feed time here, 33 minutes. Total time, 33 minutes. 
that's the total runtime of your program. So as you can see, it's pretty quick uh, just for the milling. Uh, you still gotta spot drill and drill these holes. All right, so that's uh, milling with Contour Toolpath. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys finish up by spot drill and drilling these last four holes to complete the program. And once again, this is working with mill part three. And um, I hope you guys are able to follow along with this. If you have any questions, reach out to me my email or come see me in the lab. And this is contour milling for mill part three.